All right, cool. Um, yeah, like what you said earlier about um, the apps, the other apps were just really silly. They weren't really useful or interesting at all. Like, what was that one app? Um, Instant Classroom? I saw that one, and it, was just, it just seemed like more of a seat organizer. It wasn't really like a behavior thing or anything fancy. I think it was just like a simple website that they set up to um, to organize for like seating arrangements, and that's about it. The one application that stood out, it was similar to Class Dojo, it was that teacher... If I remember that correctly. At least that application was... It's similar to Class Dojo, but it looked a little more professional because um, it had personalized icons and uh, it kept track of um, students' information like on their homework and their tests and participation. A little more fancier than class dojo. It's like it's just for behavior it seemed like to me. They're just all behavior. It's just like how are they doing in class? What would you, I mean, you want to just talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of both of the programs? Yeah, um, I don't feel like the advantage of, like, um, the class dojo is that, like, it's it's a, it's a great way for parents and students to check, like, the student behavior. It's simple, it's easy, and it's colorful for a program. Um, disadvantage wise I think that like if you become too dependent on the program you might forget to do it but um, but I still think it's 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 a great tool because um at least you can keep track of like the, the progress of the students see what they're doing if you had to pick a program which one would you want to implement into your classroom I would I, would, I think I would probably use um, maybe the, the the teacher toolkit pro. I mean, I like that program a lot. They could customize their own icon. It's similar to Class Dojo. It's a little more tricky, but it, at least it has like charts and data, like keeping all all the students' progress, like their homework and their tests. I don't know if you check that one out. No, I did almost all of them, but that one. But, uh, yeah, oh, all, really? the, all the other ones were just silly little things, but could be fun and useful in the class, but I mainly yeah. focus on Class Dojo. Um, what did you think about a lot of the, with the Class Dojo, and I don't know if this is the same with Instant Classroom, like, they were worried about, like, the privacy of it. Like, everything was too public. Yeah, I mean, if... If they could get all the privacy option, I mean, I don't think it's like um a really big deal to, to in my opinion. But if if it, if you can just set it to private between the students, then I think that'd be fine. So people are really paranoid about privacy options, anyways. And like another, like one of the things they were saying, like on the privacy, like all the parents could see, like all the students and like the ranking system and. They were worried about, you know, the same students being a, it's basically a competition, like basically. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really like the idea of having a competition. I'd rather have it like, you know, it's private and like everybody's information is their own or else it becomes, yeah, like what you said, it becomes a competition and then parents will get paranoid and kids will be like, why am I doing that well compared to my friend? That doesn't sound really fun at all. Yeah, so I mean, like I think the programs itself are a really good idea, but it still needs some fine tuning and some ideas on how to better manage the system. Yeah, right. I think it's, I think it's uh, the best way to describe it. I mean, it's it's only there like a, like a guideline just to help us out a little bit, but it's it's still like it still has human problems. So we have to deal with that kind of situation. What were your thoughts? Another one of our concerns was 
it seems like it's going to add a lot more work to a teacher that's already pretty busy. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I definitely agree with that because um, it's like if you focus too much of your time there, you don't have time to do other things to grade papers or teach or you have, you have conference like an email to respond. So it might be like in another thing that would be like overwhelming for you to do. And I'm definitely sure, agree with that. I'm sure it's how you manage it. I'm sure if you're efficient at it, but. Like even like little distractions with you going around the phone and making notes, uh, you uh, lose sight of your. It's amazing how quickly students can be misbehaving or being off task when you're not constantly watching. Them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you, it sounds easy at first, unless in, unless you're really efficient at it. If you're not, then I think it's more of a distraction to use than a benefit. I don't think it's like it's made for everybody. Great. Um, anything else you want to add before I let you go? Um, besides that, um, I think they're great tools, though, like the, the apps these days, like to keep track of progress. I, I really like that compared to before. It's all, all my teachers before when they keep track of grades. It's all on like paper and they have to bring it with them and they write all these notes. It looked really complicated. For, but now it seems like it's a lot better now with apps. It just depends on like if you're very very good at using apps or if you're more traditional at using paper and pen. All right. Well, thanks for your time, and we'll get this handed in, and I will be in touch. Yeah. Thanks, Richard. Yeah. No yeah problem. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Thanks for meeting up with me. <laughs> All right. See you, man. All right. You have a good evening.